What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be playing some Overwatch 2 and we're just going to be playing some like educational content type video where I just play like DPS and um yeah just basically tell you guys what my thought processes are and basically who I'm going to switch in the DPS roster against another pick. So say if they have like I don't know like an Echo or something I'm going to go Widow like I am right now or like a hit scan or something like that. And also I'm going to try to leave some of the defs as well and things like that just so you guys can see like what I did wrong and how I'm not warmed up or whatever or not or what not. We do have a widow and widow usually goes up top left, so I'm gonna be looking that. Oh, looks like she's not going to. I actually don't know where she is at all. I almost got the soldier in, but fell too quick. There, I got the Kiriko, so now I'm gonna back off, right? So I don't want to stay in that same position. I'm gonna back off. But I know that soldier in, or someone else is gonna try to push me. I'm gonna look for that widow though. I do see the Zen. I do want the Zen, but. I don't know if the Widow hooked, don't think she did, and she didn't, so I'm going to kill her. I'm going to hook now, try to go for a hook shot here, try to get that soldier in as well. Maybe the Kiriko is going to come back too. I see that the Orisa is discorded, so I'm going to put some shots on him. Try to get a good headshot on her, but it's not going to be able to. Lift the Zen as well, don't do our hook shot. Try to get the Zen, miss the Zen. It looks like the Widow is back. Ooh, the Widow actually had a trap over here, that was smart by him. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal up, peek again when I don't have the wall hack on me from the venom. Try to stay steady and try to get that zen. I couldn't get that zen actually. I hit the wrist on the head. I'm gonna soon pop walls here. I'm gonna wait until his walls are up though to pop walls. The wrist is gonna try to push me, so I'm actually gonna pop walls since the wrist is over here. See if I get another pick. Maybe on the ash. Try to keep my hand steady here to try to get a headshot. Which is very hard when I have this Orisa in my face. Oh, it's so bright on this map. And I'm getting ulted. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, there's one thing about this map, by the way, is when you shoot, like, look how bright that is. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm one shot. He's going to throw a dynamite. No. I have to watch out for their Widow now since their Widow has wall hack. So I can headshot the Ash, though. Good shot by me. This Orisa. Oh, I almost headshotted him. If I was a little more warm, I probably would have headshotted her. But she still has walls, so... You know, I tried to go for a little flick shot on their Widowmaker. And realistically, I should have just stayed alive there and tried to, you know, just play in the back line since I already got a pick on their Ash. So that was my mistake. I should have just stayed low ground and waited until the walls were over with. But it is what it is. We make mistakes. Where's that Tracer? Tracer's not going to peek? No. Widow's waiting for me. I know that. Can't hit the Kiriko, so I'm gonna go low ground because I know the Widow's waiting for me to peek top. Or Widow over time. Widow's dead, but I can't I can't touch point. It's just me and me and Anna, so we're gonna lose that point. And also I'm making a video of uh unranked to what is it, Masters? I would do a higher rank on that video to unranked to whatever, like unranked to GM or whatever, but I feel like it's just gonna take like a, like so long for me to do that. I'd have to actually grind through that. Kill Kiriko here. I am gonna pop walls, which I probably shouldn't have because the Arisa's just gonna push me for the 14th time. So right now it's mainly a tank diff in my opinion. I feel like it's tank diff and I feel like it's a whole team diff just because of like how my team's playing. They're not really playing together. They're not really going for the Arisa at all. They're just letting the Arisa walk around and do whatever he wants. And sorry. And Zarya is supposed to be a counter to Orisa. So, you know, it's supposed to be winning this, but. Oh my gosh, this guy's on a roll. Let's see if I can kill him. He does have walls, though, so he's probably gonna kill me here. I can't really do much to him when he has walls, so. I'm just gonna wait out, wait it out. Try to wait it out, at least. Since I peek, I know he's looking at me. I don't know where he is. Top right. Yep. Okay. Waited for his walls to go out, and then I peeked, of course. And I kind of like peeked each corner, right? I'm kind of like playing Counter Strike as in a sense. I'm peeking each corner. So I'm like doing this. I'm peeking, and I'm peeking, I'm peeking, I'm peeking. And I'm just like strafing around corners. Trying to get them. Trying to get that Widowmaker. And I eventually got her. Which is good. I don't even know how I killed her. 
I always place a venom mine, by the way, like at doors or at certain locations like that. So just in case the wow, Arissa does so much damage. Just in case the tracer wants to push me again. Wow, he hit my hitbox. The Riz is not even hitting me; he's just hitting my hitbox. Like not even hitting my character model. Just hitting the corner of me, which is crazy. All right, I got a pick. I'm gonna pop my walls here so I can get another pick, maybe. Usually you do want to. Oh. All right, widow's dead. Usually you do want to use your walls for when they have walls. So you want to save your walls for when the widowmaker pops her walls. So you now you're even, right? I usually do that, but right now I'm just like you know just popping the walls instantly because I do want to try to get more kills here. So you can do either or, but the smarter thing would to would be to obviously wait for her walls to go up and then pop yours. Wow, she jump shot. Okay. I saw her hook and I was just going to shoot there, but more warmed up than me. It's all good. Again, I am staying on uh, Widowmaker. I could go to Tracer and try to bother the Widowmaker as well, but with the Sombra. But I'm just going to stay Widowmaker because it's keeping their team at bay as well. Just this... This Arissa. This Arissa is low, too. Hopefully my team can... No, they can't. Okay, let me just reload here. Yeah, I can't do anything against uh, the Arissa. I mean, yeah. Get out there, come on, Desario, please. I'll try to go after the Widowmaker there. So I feel that is definitely a tank diff right there. We do have Zarya. Zarya's able to counter that. It's just she can't really do it because she's playing Zarya into a Widowmaker. So it's going to be easier for the Widowmaker to just headshot her across the map and kill her. Um, I right here I'm very confident so I'm just gonna play some Widowmaker again but I'm very confident in getting some picks on this attack round so we'll see how it goes I'm mainly playing Widowmaker this game because I just like playing Widowmaker on Drugger Town should have won that round pretty easily just you can't do much against that this game is a team game and you want to realize that a lot of people don't realize that that this game is literally a team game DPS cannot just solo carry the game and a lot of people don't understand that so you know you may see me lose a lot of these fights and and you know like some well not a lot but you know some of the fights and you may see me you know have like struggle a little bit and that's mainly because my other teammates are not really creating space i'm trying to create space as well like dps is one of the classes that you want to create space with of course but it's just the zarya for example i i just feel like she's not she's not do, playing in the right position she's just dying a lot she's not playing in the right positions you know, I have a lot more depth than her, but that's because I'm trying to get picks. I'm trying to make space. And Zarya's supposed to be the main person to make space because that's the tank. It's just she's having a difficult time doing that. And that's mainly because the Widowmaker's just headshotting her over and over again. If I was her, I'd literally not go Zarya. I'd probably go like a Orisa or something just to combat their Orisa and be on even playing field. Zarya can counter Orisa, but that's if you're good with Zarya, you know. And I feel like this Zarya is just, you know, having a tough time with that. Okay. The Widowmaker did hook as well. I saw her, so she doesn't have it. Yeah, I knew she was going to do that. Okay. Try to kill that Orisa, but she ran up. There we go. I got the Widow that was peeking middle. There we go. We got the other DPS as well. That's good by Zarzari. Okay, now our Zarya is making some space. So now I can push up a little bit while Zarya is making space. I can actually push up my team right here in the middle. And then try to get some far distance. Try to shoot that Zen, but I missed. All right, good. This is what our Zarya should be doing. Not really by herself, like not pushing like this by herself. Like she's kind of going a little bit too far. But then again, she is making space. She is getting in there, making a bunch of space. Trying to get a good flick on this tracer is just. <laughs> he caught him. Yeah, usually when a tracer's around you, you just try to throw a venom mine and hopefully they walk into it. They do have a Sigma here, so Sigma's gonna be very strong against my Zarya, so now I gotta be careful. Where's that Widowmaker? Where's that Widowmaker? How to find her. And now I can push up a little bit since my team is doing good right now. Kill the tracer. Do not provoke me. The pain I am. I'm the 
I saw that Kiriko in the back. Can't really get to her. She looks like she's gonna TP. Yeah, she's gonna definitely gonna TP. So I do have walls. I'm gonna wait until their Widowmaker has walls and kind of show that how that works and what I do in that situation. So if he has walls. I'm gonna pop walls now. So I'm gonna mark the Widowmaker so I know where she is and then I'm just gonna wait for her. So if she, I'm gonna try to go after her teammates as well while I'm waiting for her. But if she does hook up or something, then I'm gonna go after her and try to kill her. See, she wants me. And now the Tracer is gonna come up into me, or the Baptiste. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. She's still trying to go after me. Okay. So as you can see, I kind of kept the Widowmaker at bay. I had walls and walls made her walls not matter because now I can 1v1 her. I can just keep shooting her teammates over to my bottom left, which is like the SIG in them. And I can keep focusing on them while she's trying to like, you know, not get killed by me at the same time because I can easily just like, you know, peek her and, and free fire her with the wall hack. So it was way easier for me, at least in that situation, in that situation to do a lot more and try to put damage on her teammates while she's just sitting around doing nothing basically and not getting any value out of her playing Widowmaker at all. You know what? <laughs> I got you, buddy. Leave me alone, man. Jeez. Can't hit a shot at him. I just SMG him. Jeez. All right, so they do have a Widowmaker still. She probably heard my hook just now, so I'm going to look out for her. Crouch around corners, maybe. Uh, definitely looking out. I think Widowmaker's all the way in the back, actually, so I'm going to pick that. Back here. Okay, she does have walls. I don't have walls, so I got to be careful now. The Sigma was on me, too, so I got to be careful. Maybe get a good little hook shot right here. No. Nope. Half my team's dead. Again, the Genji's on me. Okay. Here we come. Alright. Throw up my sights. So I see the Widowmaker. I see the Baptiste. Widowmaker's dead because she peeked. Baptiste headshotted. I am gonna get. I can't. I uh, this this map. So if my team pushes here, we can kind of win this round. I'm going to stay. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with Tracer. But yeah, this map, you can, I'm blind. I'm blind. That guy popped Dragon Blade, and I'm blind. <laughs> so, Zarya grabbed by herself again, but that's fine. Let's try to get in this. Someone's one shot. I think it's a Kiriko. Yeah, Kiriko's dead. Try to get the Sig though, even though he's getting healed because he has a little HP, so I'll be able to kill him. Where's the Moira? She's not dead. Okay. Oh, Venture. Venture, or Lucio. Where's Lucio? All right, cool. Little iffy there, because I'm not warmed up at all on Tracer, but we did do good. We uh, went Tracer at the end of that round and then kind of popped off a little bit. And that's what you kind of want to do if Widowmaker's not really working out towards the end. You kind of just want to go Tracer and just try to pop off a little bit. I didn't want to go Tracer before because I was still 1v1ing the Widow and I knew I could get some good hits on the Widow, which I did. But as soon as I was getting pushed by that Genji, I'm kind of out of it. A Tracer, very, like, way easier to kill, right? But, you know, I'm going to go Widowmaker here again because it's really good on first point when you're defending, of course. And that's really what you want to go. But when you're when you're going against a Tracer, for example, Tracer is very much easier to kill than a Genji, in my opinion, at least. I feel like Genji is harder to kill just because he has the deflect. He can dash at you. He's kind of more nimble to climb walls and stuff like that. Tracer is going to be a little hard, a little easier for you, I mean. Tracer's going to be a little easier for you just because she's blinking around. You can kind of flick to her head and hit her in a, or hit her in the body and then SMG her and things like that. But a Genji is going to be a little harder for you to kill, in my opinion, at least, as a sniper. You just want to be more careful than that about that. So I usually just switch off of, Trace, of Widowmaker and then go Tracer to combat that. So far, 27 Elims and 13 deaths. Doing, you know, pretty decent. The deaths could be a little bit better. I could be staying alive a lot longer. I wish I would be. But 
you know, it is what it is. Just how I'm doing right now and things like that. I'm gonna look out and see if they do have a Widowmaker. They may just not have a Widowmaker at all, actually. Place a Venomine back there in the corner again. Oh, they have a Soldier and Trace, so this ain't good for me. Okay. But I do like playing on this map on Widowmaker though, so I am going to step all the way back since they do have a Soldier and a Tracer. So they're like super tryhard now, so I'm going to look around and try to get that Soldier and someone. And they do have a Sigma, so Sigma's just going to block me with the shield. Which is going to be really bad. I'm going to throw my Venomine over there again. Okay, she's just going to wait for me with her right click. He's one shot. If he peeks one more time, he's dead. Come on. Oh, shield. Come on, come on. I'm gonna keep my venom mine over there just in case Tracer goes over there. Wow, he is. He is just. I hear. I hear Tracer. Place my venom mine again. There we go. Okay, and then I get killed by the soldier. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch. So since they have a soldier and a tracer, I feel like I feel like I could go tracer as well, honestly. Just because of how they're playing. Let's see. I was thinking about going Reaper as well. Reaper could be good here. Just because like you get in Sigma's face and they don't really have a team comp to kill you in that aspect. Like only really soldier. While Tracer's just messing around. Ooh, there we go. That was a good grab. All right, that was a good grab off a point. And then we just killed the Tracer. That was nice. So right there is Arya in that situation, just because how the map layout is, it's easier for him. So when Sigma, when he went Sigma on the other point, I was kind of complaining because that's way harder. I'm going to go Widowmaker again. Um, actually, I'll try Tracer out. But I feel like at that, you know, second point of the map is very hard when you're on defense and you're pushing the payload on Zarya but then we finally broke through right if you have a you have a good amount of communication you can break through that if Sigma is on top with a shield and things like that I just feel like if a if like the hit scan was behind the Sigma on top with the shield then it's going to be way harder for your team to deal with that and way harder for the Zarya to get up there to deal with that you would have to go below and then try to go top and then even then you're still you know at a shield disadvantage you don't have a shield and you just have a Zarya so yeah that's why i was kind of like complaining about it but i feel like we broke through and since it's you know ranked mode people are just not going to be you know fine-tuned with their team and people aren't going to be calling out like you know really calling out together and everything like that i don't even know if they're calling out or anything all right so some tracer i'm just gonna try to build up my pulse bomb and try to get a good stick on somebody wow there's sigma sigma's so low i just want to get in there and try to melee him and recall oh we got a pick already cool so I don't think they have a Mercy, so I'm just going to TP over here, look for the Soldier and make him back up, call for heals, of course, and now I'm just going to, okay, never mind, we just won the round. <laughs> the Sigma just jumped off the map, ah, it's so funny. Alright, I guess we just win the game, because their Sigma just like out of the game now. Alright, cool. And that's basically how you win that. You know, I you could have say like I played Widowmaker too long in that game, but I felt like it was like a decent like matchup and I felt like I was getting a good amount of picks. Yes, I would die a few times, but you know, it is what it is. Let me see. I went 31 kills and 14 elims. You know, I thought it was pretty good. And this guy he was popping off a little bit. Right here, he got me with the hook, didn't he? Yeah, because he had walls. Yeah, so that was an easy shot for him. I knew he was going to snipe people from that position. I just, you know, just missed my shot. Unfortunate. But we won that round. Let's get on to the next game. I thought he was low. He's not dead? Okay. Thought the Mercy would die from that, but I guess not. Okay, now their whole team's just gonna go on top high ground, so now I gotta watch out. Okay, why is my Anna going in? Okay, interesting. That was a nice sleep. Alright, cool, then we just went. Nice. That's a bunch of ults used. Someone behind here? Who's he fighting? <laughs> He's bashing an Anna to death. Try to push this right here. Try to get the soldier, maybe. Oh, he's out of here. He is out of here. Ash is dead. Try to get that mercy. Oh, I don't want to fight this. Step back a little bit. 
trying to help my diva here, but okay, my diva got the mercy somehow. Put some shots on that soldier. So I do have my high noon, so I'm gonna go top right with my high noon up here where my diva is. It's a good vantage point when you do have your high noon. My echo's up here as well, so now I have an extra teammate up here with me. So I'm just gonna hide right here because I know my hog or their hog is gonna try to look for me, so I'm gonna try to sneak around. Hopefully, no one comes up here. We have dead eyes though, my echo better be careful. Yeah. I got the mercy still. I didn't even hear the soldier 76. My headphones broke. Try to push back. I still do have high noon. Alright. I'm gonna leave him sleep. I was gonna high noon the hog, but he woke up too fast. Alright, now I'm just gonna step back because my whole team's dead. Oh, you're dead too. I'll go. Alright, I could actually go Widowmaker here as well if I really needed to. I feel like Widow would be really good if they do start to stay on high ground more. Just because it's a long range map, New Bonnie. But we'll see. I almost got a kill on the Ash. I would have killed her if I landed another headshot and just missed. Try to go this way. Let's try to get high ground. That's my their hogs not up here. Mercy's one shot. Hope I get healed. Okay. Oh, I didn't kill him. I'm gonna kill the hog here. Cause I have nano still. Wait for the heal, don't peek. I can peek into the trance. Missing a lot of shots here. Try to kill Bob. Alright, cool, we got points. Try to try to stay alive here. Ooh. Laggy, laggy, lag. Back to the mercy. Oh, right there. Okay, we're good. Go with my diva over here so you matrix me. Soldier dead or soldier <laughs> and a dead. Oh, that was a good bomb by my diva. He hooked me through the wall. He hooked me through the wall. I do have high noon, but I'm gonna go back Widowmaker. Actually, Widowmaker is really good because you know we're gonna be at long range while my team is on point. See if my team's got ultimate. My team's got a nano. So I could save my... I could have stayed Cassidy but for the nano, but I'd rather just go Widowmaker to stay back here. And we got it. Nice. So why I went Widowmaker again, just because it's a long range area right here. So since they're going to be pushing point and they're going to be trying to kill my teammates that are on point, then they have a Widowmaker to deal with, right? And they're not going to be prepared for that. They have an Ash. They have... A, what was it a Cassidy they're not gonna be prepared for a Widowmaker like halfway like across the map where that area was so that's why I went Widowmaker and uh, yeah it would have worked out like way better as in like I would have like showed you what I would have done got more kills and stuff but we won it so, so fast but um which is good obviously but that's basically what I do in that situation so since they do like running a echo I'm gonna go Cassidy again just because of that fact and they have a hog as well so my hinder nade is gonna be really good on the hog slow him down a little bit and we're gonna be able to kill him faster by doing that and if you're confident with Cassidy you'll do really good I usually like staying up on here on this side as Cassidy and not really up here because you can't get hooked very easily from here if he is only on hog which looks like he is so if he goes up here and tries to hook you it's very easy to get hooked up here it's gonna be very hard he kind of has to go right here to hook you or uh, yeah basically or get up here by like a wife lever pad or something like that to hook you but other than that if you don't get hooked by him below like all below or goes behind you then you're fine you know but if you're up here it's way easier to get killed and I don't know why my Zen is throwing my game I'm gonna throw a little hinder nade on the Sombra to try to get her Okay, I got two headshots, but my team is half dead. And there's the Echo. Try to kill the Echo there. Couldn't really kill the Echo there. Yeah, my Zen just... Ranked. I've been playing a lot of... Uh, a lot of Valorant and CS, which I make make videos on. 
Amplify do seem a little rusty. That's why I've been playing other games. Maybe we got the Sombra. Echo's up there, but yeah, I'm gonna step back. And that's one more thing. If you do want to get really good at the at Overwatch at least, Overwatch 2, you have to stick to Overwatch. You know, you can't really switch to other games. You know, maybe Valorant would help you with aim a little bit more, and you know, Counter Strike would help you with aim a little bit more. But it's definitely gonna throw you off. So like when you switch a switch to another game other than Overwatch, it's definitely gonna switch you off, and your movement's gonna be weird, and you kind of got that kind of get that movement back, right? And that aim back of how Overwatch works. Try to help my diva here, best I can. There we go. And every time when Hog throws his mind down, I always kill it as Cassidy. It's so easy to kill it. Ooh, that was a lot of damage on them. Yeah, my Zen is like 1v1ing people for some reason. I don't know why. I try to shoot the trap. Shooting time. I'm gonna help my Anna here. Anna, come here, please. I don't know why my Anna's <laughs> running into a mini instead of running towards me. Usually on support, you always want to run toward your teammates instead of like a random health pack that's, you know, 10 feet away. Kill the mine again, run back. I could try to kill that Echo before I die. Hopefully, I don't get hooked. My D was actually really good by staying in front of me so I don't get hooked. So he probably wasn't doing that intentionally, but. There's a trap around that corner. Maybe I can nade it. Oh, can I get it? I'm gonna pop my high noon here just to keep them at bay. Oh, that's interesting. Ult. Okay, don't know how we won that, but we did. <laughs> I just stayed alive mainly because of my Anna Nano and me, which is a random, really random Nano, but it worked out. I feel like that was a decent Nano on me. Just because of the situation I was in. I was kind of just using my ult to zone them out so my team can push up a little bit more, but... Oh my, rusty, rusty aim. Yeah, if you're rusty on hit scan, it's gonna be very bad for you. I'm trying my best here, though. Super rusty. Oh, help my teammates with the uh, Sombra. Timer disappears. Watch out for that mine. I'm gonna pop my ultimate because my deep is out of mech. Why am I nade? No, I thought I had it. really do much i was trying to deal with that sombra that's on my teammates but it just just kind of threw me off she did a good job at you know just staying up there and being a little annoying just trying to get some good headshots oh, Tracer. so i'm only going tracer just because like they do have a Sombra and a Cassidy, and they have a Hog, so they, you know, I can build my ultimate on the Hog a lot easy, easier. That's why I'm kind of Tracer. Just trying to build my ult on the Hog. I'm just playing point here. Try not to get hooked. Oh, he got in Suzu. I would have pushed that if he didn't. Uh, that's right side. My supports are crazy gamers. Try to throw my poles to kill somebody. Yeah, my supports are crazy gamers. Nice! Baptiste too far. Can't find him. Gonna fight the hog. Is he closer? Where'd Baptiste go? Oh, Baptiste's dead. Okay. Nah. 
I didn't even notice that. Alright, we got a Widowmaker. Cool. Alright, I thought we were gonna lose that. My I don't know why my team my DPS or my supports were like up in the open. You should always like if you're on this map, you should always like play behind like corners and stuff like that. So I stay alive. Try to annoy them in the back line a little bit. I have to back off because I don't have recall. Or I do have recall, but I don't have enough links. I don't want to waste it. Oh, she's going to get a lit. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, no. I tried my best to go on a back line there. It's just very, very difficult for me. We should put a Sonic over here on this corner. So Hans is really good on this map, like I said earlier, just because, like, you know, you can literally go up here and climb walls and stuff, so it's really good for you. So I'd go to Sonic down there, see who's down there. Shoot the trap. I got the Kiriko with a good free fire shot. Just a hog. <laughs> okay, Tracer. <laughs> I like it like there. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm literally just staying high ground. That's what you want to do on Hanzo on the smoke. Just literally stay high ground. And just keep picking people off and putting a lot of damage in. And then we won. So. Yeah, a lot of misplays in that game, I feel like, by me, a little bit of a bunch of misplays, just because I haven't been playing Overwatch that much. But, you know, as you can see, I, we still won the round. We still won the game. And right there, we still won because mainly I went high ground. They couldn't deal with me, and I'm on Hanzo, and I'm shooting big arrows at them. So, yeah, I got that Tracer. Get some hits on the Soldier as well. May it so she can't push the point as well. And then, um, yeah, basically, I just... Play high ground advantage. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, you can always leave a like on this video. And also leave a comment below if you guys, you know, obviously you like this kind of video where it's more educational, more more gameplay esque, and more just playing while talking and things like that on every hero in the lineup of DPS. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great night and or day and peace.